Okay, back to tool review videos because I'm uh, getting back to work now. But uh, I've got a day off and I'm going to use it to make more videos. Uh, this is a co uh, cobalt, uh, what they call the reciprocal tool, a uh, reciprofit tool set. Uh, there's, a, there's a part number on here. Uh, basically, it's a proprietary system from Lowe's. Okay, and Lowe's, I'm finding out more and more recently is a hell of a lot more friendly to veteran discounts than Home Depot is at the corporate level. The thing is, um, we've got Home Depot stores locally which uh, will know that Lowe's is more friendly to the veteran discounts and they'll compete with that based on uh, local, local management discretion. But Lowe's has this as a proprietary toolkit and what this effectively does is it changes a mounting system for reciprocating saw tools so that you can take tools which would normally use the quick release hex bit uh, attachment that is seen on let's say impact drivers and adapt them to tools where there's some utility on a back and forth action such as a, uh, a sawzall or in this case a, a cordless reciprocating saw with a qu quick detach head. Uh, one of the reasons they're not going to just put this little little sawzall blade tail on a lot of these tools permanently, which would be another valid way to do it, these things tend to be brittle. So what will come with the toolkit is a uh, spare part for that. What normally comes with the toolkit are these brushes, so you can power brush and power clean stuff, a um, uh, a file and kind of a, a, a scour cleaning pad. Uh, this kit's really good for cleaning barbecue grills, uh, and stuff like that. It's good for cleaning workbenches, things like that. Now, one of the things you have to really be careful of is once one of these tools has been used to clean something that could be toxic, you, you don't want to use that around food items anymore because uh, obviously if you use it to clean steel parts or recently painted or fiberglass type stuff and then you've got that you know paint and fiberglass or chemical residue in that gr brush don't use it on a barbecue anymore so for example I've got cleaning brushes here I've used on uh, cleaning up weld slag or something like that you, you can't use those around food items anymore so uh, look out for that when you're doing that stuff so let's break this stuff out of the box and see how some of it works okay so with this stuff broken out of the packaging we can take a look at it a little bit more carefully what you'll notice is relatively standard hex mount stuff that you would normally see let's say on an impact driver but obviously all of these tools are useful with a back and forth motion none of them would be used with let's say a spinning motion there would be no reason to put that on a on a tool with a spinning motion um, one of the cool things about this though is you can uh, modify even some of these tool heads a little bit for example this one comes with a Brillo pad it's just kind of stuck on there it's kind of glued I would expect that to come off over time so what I'm going to do is I would use this until it kind of wears down as a cleaning pad and then probably put some sticky velcro on there and then use regular velcro back sanding pads maybe even cut this uh, cut this into a different shape so this one you know it comes with what you get but realize this this there's a lot of ways you can modify it this one's of course the wire brush and remember if you've used it around chemicals paints and other types of stuff don't use it on a barbecue grill again okay uh, this one I think I'm just going to store with my barbecue grill and call it happy. Uh, this one's more like a cleaning brush, you know, bathroom cleaning brush, that sort of a thing. I'm going to keep this with my little toolkit. This one, of course, gets packed with a barbecue grill. Uh, this is your tool adapter head. It will install onto your uh, reciprocating saw in exactly the same manner that a blade will install. It's held on by this little screw. There's also a lock washer. Again, you have to get into that packaging, get the spare parts out of this, and put these in a safe place. What we're going to do, though, is demonstrate how this works with, uh, oh, let's, let's use maybe the file. This is the blade system mounted on the, uh, the reciprocating saw. 
you can go either this way or this way on the DeWalt saws. On the Ryobi saws, a lot of times it only goes one way. And again, as I've unpacked this, remember, you get little spare parts just in case it breaks off that little part because that is a fail point on a lot of reciprocating saw blades. The other thing is that we can show some other ways to mount different types of brushes and stuff on these things. Uh, when we also work this as a reciprocating saw, there's a lot of weight up here, so it's, it's going to not be super high precision. There's, there's a little bit of movement in these things. So if you're trying to do precision filing, it's, it's going to be okay for ripping down a lot of metal on situations where you want to file instead of grind, or situations where maybe making a lot of sparks isn't a good idea. But you're not going to be able to do precision work with this type of thing. Uh, as far as the other heads go, and this one here comes with a Brillo pad, it's glued on. I would expect that to wear down relatively quickly, but then you could attach other types of pads that are other items to this. So if you're going to make some sort of a custom tool out of this, or custom sandpaper holder, it's going to be this thing. You've got basically a flat piece of plastic that you can work with for making your own stuff out of it. Obviously, this is the, uh, the, the, the steel wire brush. Once you've used this on anything that's potentially toxic, you don't want to use it on the barbecue grill anymore. So, this one, just to make sure it doesn't stay around anything toxic, um, paint, solvents, thinners, anything like that, this is going to be stored with my barbecue grill. Uh, this one's just kind of like your regular ordinary cleaning brush, bathroom cleaning brush, something like that. What I really had in mind for this was cleaning up after tile jobs, but uh, we're going to see about that later. And this one, because that brush is really built into there, this one I think is going to be would be much more difficult to modify, but it would be possible to modify it for other types of purposes. So this is the system, and again, for mounting the file, it's rounded on one side, flat on the other, but because it uses a hex bit system, there's potentially six different positions you can mount that in.